The best I am release of 2023. Yes, we're back again with this end of the year series. The rules are simple. The I am must have been released in the year 2023. So I am's release in 2022, even though it became popular in 2023, doesn't count because it wasn't released in 2023. So without further ado, I have 10 IMs for you guys today. Let's jump into it. Hey friends, Timir, welcome back to my video on Guess Audio. And before we jump into the list, I have to say that I haven't tried Zero Two by 7 Hertz and Critical yet. Not because I didn't order it, I ordered it a while ago, it just never arrived. Hence why I also pushed this video all the way till the end of the year. So just know that this list is made without having tried this kind of hype piece. Let's start this list with the cheapest IEM and work our way up to the most expensive ones, all right? The first one on this list, the cheapest one and arguably one of the best release of the year is the Truth Ears X Critical Zero Red. Coming in at $55, this thing is a game changer. No longer do you need to buy expensive IEMs to get top tier tuning. This thing is tuned so well from bass to mid-range to treble. It'll blow your mind really what it can do for $55. And in terms of technical, it's no slouch either. It competes really well with IEMs in the $150 bracket. So if you're new to the IEM hobby, you can't escape being recommended the Zero Red. Next one up coming in at $60 something I forgot is the Moondrop May. I'm not going to say much about the Moondrop May because I do have a review of it coming in in the near future, but I will say this, it's tuned well, it has DSP and detachable two pin cable. That same DSP cable can be used on any other two pin IEMs, which means you can use the Moondrop app to EQ any 2-pin IEMs. Next one up is the Awful Magic 1. 1 BA tuned extremely well, a slightly bit warmer tuning, very enjoyable for pretty much anybody. This thing is here because it simply blew my mind. I did not know you can get anything like this kind of sound out of a 1 BA, especially the treble smoothness with the amount of bass that it has quite incredible. And speaking of incredible, we have the next IEM, the Truth Ears Nova, $150. This is the go-to Harman Tune IEM. If you're into Harman Tune in any way at all, Nova is your best bet. I mean, there's Moondrop variations as well, but it's $520 when the Nova is only $150. The biggest complaints about the Nova is that it sounds kind of thin, which I do agree at times. But for those of you who are worshippers of the Harmon, you like the very forward female vocals, extremely clean mid-range, decent amount of bass, and overall, the best thing about the Nova, very smooth treble decay. Give Nova a try. Yet another wonderful under $200 IEM this year is the Sennheiser IE200. This thing is tuned almost identical to the IE600. Maybe a little bit less in the mid-range, a little bit more V-shaped than the IE600. But all in all, it is around 80% similar for about a fourth of the price. It it's quite insane. The IE600 is hailed as one of the best single DD IEM ever, and the IE200 just came in and kind of just stole the thunder in a way. You don't really need to buy the IE600 anymore, just get the IE200. Next one up, we're jumping into the $200 range with the Kiwi Ears Quintet. Out of all of the Kiwi Ears releases, they released a whole bunch of IEM this year. The one that impressed me the most was the Quintet, and second to that is the Orchestra Light. The Orchestra Light for me feels a little bit too safe, a little bit too boring. Whereas the quintet has some wow factor to it that comes in the form of the treble and the treble nuances. Very nice, clean, energetic sounding IEM, well-rounded in all aspects. For those of you who are more sensitive to treble, this might not be the one for you, but Aside from that, I have nothing bad to say about it. Jumping up another $100, we have the Moondrop Blessing 3. Amazing, just clean sounding bass, even though not so much in graph, sounds very dynamic and fun somehow. It is a great IEM, a not disappointing upgrade from the Blessing 2 and the Blessing 2 Dust. Oftentimes, when a brand upgrades to the new model of something that was previously super successful, it's 
a big disappointment. But I'm so, so super glad that the Blessing 3 turned out to be an actual upgrade. Moving up again, we have the Studio 4 coming in in the $400 price bracket. Studio 4 is one of those IMs where I don't have anything anything bad to really say about it. I just loved it through and through. It's well balanced, the bass is fun, and the signature is something you can listen to for hours and hours on end. One of the most pleasing sounding release of this year. Moving way up the price bracket now, we have a Dunu IEM. Now this spot was originally for the Dunu SA6 Mark II, which is still one of the best release of this year. I rank it really highly in my ranking list still, but another Dunu was released this year and kind of stole the thunder a little bit. And I want to give the spotlight fully to this IEM, that is the Dunu Mirai in collaboration with Precog Vision. Great sounding IEM. The tuning is pretty much spot on. You're not gonna find any offensiveness in this tuning whatsoever. The bass is sufficient, so it doesn't sound thin either. Male vocals, female vocals both sound natural. They don't sound thin or shouty in any way at all. The treble nuances are there. Like you can hear every single one of them and they're not in your face either. So everything is well represented. Nothing is jumping out at you. Extremely safe IEM. The only downside maybe is that it's not as exciting as some people might like. But for those of you seeking something neutral and safe, the Mirai is possibly the pinnacle of neutral and safe. And last but not least, one of the most expensive IEM of the year happens to be one of the best one of the year. I kind of don't like it when that happens because it looks like I'm price biased, but having tried that IEM in person a few times, I can say that it's just phenomenal. It, it is, it is. From bass to mid-range to treble, it's so good. The treble is so detailed, yet so smooth. The bass hits you like a brick, but it's still clean in the mid-range. Tuning is phenomenal, details is phenomenal. It's one of those very rare IEMs that can show you that the last 5% improvement matters, makes a difference. All right, that's it kind of for this list of the best release of 2023. I do have two additional items, both of which are not IEMs that I want to highlight. The first one being earbuds from Dunu. Dunu Alpha 3. If you're into earbuds in any capacity, this is it. The only one you need to get. I've tried pretty much all the hype ones from the cheap to the $600 and Alpha 3 is the best one. The second item is the Moondrop Para open back headphones, Planar, the best one of this year. It sounds so natural to me. Every time I listen to it, I almost don't want to take it off my head. It just sounds that good. One last thing I'd like to say is Happy New Year's. I hope you guys have the best 2024. I'm definitely looking forward to all the new releases that's coming next year, some new technologies that might be coming out. It's just gonna be another very exciting year in IEMs and Shi-Fi. So without further ado, I'll see you guys next year. Peace out, bye.